Welcome at uh, Electro Labs. Today I would like to talk to you about Luci. Luci is a project for a um, Bluetooth low energy connected lamp. The original idea was to kickstart the project and so to raise funds to make a real product out of it. But for some reason the author never managed to do this and so he decided to give the project to us to make it an open source, open hardware project and leave it at that. He uh, had given up. Uh, when we received the project, it was very complete. It, I mean, the mechanics were designed, the PCB was designed, the schematics were designed, etc. There, there was an app for the iPhone, there was an app for Android. Everything was available, except for one thing, which was the uh, LED heat sink. The heat sink was no longer available, it was obsolete. The, the author used a special LED which required a special heat sink, and since it's uh, quite a high power, it really needed that heat sink. So this made it difficult for us to uh, continue with the project. It was hard to find a new LED, and we put the project on hold. Then we discovered another pro uh, problem, which was the Bluetooth module. The module used by the author required programming, and we didn't like this part because that would mean that every uh, user of the lamp would need a uh, uh, programmer for this Bluetooth module, module or that we at Electra should program every module uh, before it was sent out. So these two problems made that we, uh, well, we put the project on hold. We never threw it away, but we thought maybe later. And luckily later came, we discovered a new Bluetooth module that you may have seen in the magazine. It's the BL600 from Laird which you can use without programming, which is very powerful because you can program it if you like. You can program it in BASIC, it's easy to use. And that would be a nice uh, replacement for the Bluetooth module in the Luci lamp. Uh, also, we found a new LED. So we could now replace the LED that required a special heatsink by a new LED that did not require a heatsink and the Bluetooth module that required programming by a module that did not require programming. This is what we did. We came up with a new PCB in which we changed the Bluetooth module and the LED. And since we were changing, we also changed the microcontroller. Uh, the original design had an AT Tiny 61 in it. And we use a lot of uh, AT Megas 328, like everybody else does. So we decided to use that one. It would allow for some sort of Arduino compatibility, if you like. Uh, we also changed the power supply because the original design, it was uh, using switching power supplies for each color, but it was no longer necessary for the new LED because it's much more uh, efficient. Remember this, the original design is at least two years old. So we now have a new Luci, which is completely different. Everything was changed. Uh, maybe the only thing that remained were the transistors that switched the colors of the LEDs and uh, the SPI connector to program the microcontroller and even that I'm not sure about. It works now, it works uh, very well and we had a trainee that came along and he wrote an app for it because that was also a problem, we didn't have an app anymore and now we do have an app, we do have the lamp and everything is working fine. Okay, I will tell you a little bit about the schematic now. At, at the heart we have an 80 Mega 328. As I said, this is an Arduino, uh, the same one as on the Arduino Uno. So it's, you can make it compatible by loading a bootloader. The Bluetooth module is now a BL600 from Laird. This is the module that we used also in, um, we did a series about it but to explain you how to program it in uh, its special basic. And other projects, we did a thermometer with it and uh, there's a switch coming up. Or maybe you, it's already published when you see this video. 
so the power supply, we removed the switching part of the transistors, or controlled by the transistors that made it possible to control the LED, uh, the current through each LED uh, properly, but we don't no longer need it. The LED is on the back side of the PCB, it is here. All the copper around it is meant for cooling. On the top side, we have more copper for cooling. And the other components, we have the microcontroller, the Bluetooth module. We have the Bluetooth module on our uh, breakout board, our BOB. So it's the BL600BOB. And we have the power supply, of course, on the board. Okay, so this is the history of uh, the Lucci lamp. It showed you that a project, even when it is abandoned, may re be revived one day if you wait long enough and if the right components uh, come along. Okay, well, thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time at the Elector.labs. Goodbye.